Well, it is time for Sunday brunch. We've got Julie Yoder here this morning, which means she's going to make something healthy and flavorful, which I always love to try your recipes at home. It's really, they're, they're always delicious and they sound like they may not be. You're like a little hesitant because it's really healthy, but they're always really good. What are you making today? Okay, so we're making fatouche, which is fatouche. a Lebanese uh, bread salad. All right. And I started out and I have a quarter cup of lemon juice. That's about two lemons yielded mm -hmm. and a quarter cup of olive oil. Then I have a quarter cup of mint and a quarter cup of parsley in and here. And you grew this in your garden. I did. I grew it in my garden. And I can smell it. The mint is really strong. Absolutely. Um, then we have a clove of one garlic or a teaspoon of, if you buy the minced garlic and the thing, it's a teaspoon. And then this is the secret ingredient. Um, the secret ingredient, all right. It's called sumac. Sumac. Which is a Middle Eastern, you can only get it in a Middle Eastern grocery store, but there is one at 51st all in right. Sheridan. So, so you can get it. You can get it. Sumac, what is it? Um, it's just a spice? It's just a spice, and it's, it's a unique flavor, but it's really yummy. That's about two tablespoons, and then a teaspoon of salt, and a dash of pepper. And that's kind of how you make recipes more healthy, is you try to find uh, spices and, and healthy flavors that are really pungent without adding a lot of fat. Right, exactly, because the flavor actually helps. So here we have six cups of lettuce. We have, this is three tomatoes. It's apparently the Lebanese like their tomatoes, so we've got three whole tomatoes here. We've got two cups of cucumbers. Looks all pretty. Yeah, very colorful. And then I do um, chickpeas. Yes. Add protein. Yeah, that's always a good way to like, make a salad into a meal, adding some protein. Yeah, it's one can of chickpeas. And then this is four green onions. This is an ounce of feta. And that's on top. Also, everything's better with a little cheese. And then, other secret ingredient for the salad is a bread. And okay, it's yeah. a pita bread mm -hmm. is commonly Traditional, used, sure. but you can use other kinds of bread, whatever you have. I was wondering, we, it was called bread salad. We had to have some bread in here. <laughs> right, exactly. So then, you just put the dressing on top, toss it, and then it's ready to eat. You don't want to put the dressing on too. Too early, yeah. Too early or it kind of makes it soggy. It's not as good. So Wonderful. Well, this is a very unique recipe. Very light for summer when it's hot outside. You don't want to cook. And, of course, we have this recipe online right now at kgrh.com. And 